You good? Yeah. Let me just uh, go to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> see, see, Bridget, what did I say? Yes, I said we're ready to start the show, and this is when Brian goes, "Hold on, uh, let me start doing push-ups." Or, "Hold on, my taxes have to get done by tonight." It's almost like uh, Kathy what? Geary is his mom. <laughs> It's almost like I, yeah, it's like I have uh, attention to it's in your um, Three, two, one. All right, Brent here from We Miss the Exit. We are ready to talk about our basketball championship thing. I am Brent. I am joined with Brian. Brian, how are you? Good. How are you, Brent? Not too bad. Uh, Kurt, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? That is fantastic. I like the new icon image that you have. I did not know you were interested in rabbits. It's a jackalope, but yes. Yep, those are my favorite. Okay, and we are joined by special guest Bridget. Bridget, how are you? Doing good. How are you? I'm doing just fine. So we are the goats, but Bridget actually has goats. She is now a goat farmer, and I am not remembering that correctly at all. That's correct. There uh, they are in the field. Close enough. All right, cool. Well, we're just going to jump in the story whether Evan comes or not. So, Bridget. We have this game. It's called. I gotta explain the game first. Hold on. Go backwards. Okay. It's called NBA. It's called NBA King of the Tag. You're it. Here's how it works. So we all picked a whole bunch of all teams from the NBA. We pretty much have them all picked. All four of us got like equal amount of teams. And what happens is one team has the trophy, and then other teams play against that team that has the trophy. If they beat that team in real life, that team then holds the trophy. And they keep it until they are defeated or something like that. So the goal of the game is <laughs> until to... Until they lose. <laughs> yes, until they lose. Yeah, pretty pretty much. And <laughs> I made that more difficult than it had to be. So pretty much uh, the goal of the game is to who see who can hold the trophy the longest. Okay, are you following along so far? Okay. All right. So let's go to the next slide. Let's see. There we go. All right, so Bridget, here's a little rundown. It looks a, it looks very colorful. Kurt did a great job with this. He's a good graphic designer. Uh, on the top is when we last did the show. Excel our spreadsheet, but okay. Yep, you still made it look good. Pretty much all the teams were picked up on top. We have me, Kurt, Brian, and Evan. And below are the current standings of every team. This this slide right here has nothing to do with anything. This has nothing to do with the money, nothing to do with the betting. This was me being bored, just like, hey, let's see how we do with everything. <laughs> That's you all right. get it? <laughs> <laughs> you following along, Bridget, or is it, is it still? Uh... Yeah. Wait. Am I sorry? Am I supposed to say something? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. You can say something like, "Wow, Brian, you have a lot of time on your hands." You know. Ooh. Uh, uh, Brian picks Give really a good compliment. teams. <laughs> Brian, right, it looks make great. fun of them. It, it looks look... great. I'm par I'm paranoid that you can hear the goats. No, that that would make it more fun if we could can hear you the hear goats. Them? And actually, if you brought one of the goats on the screen, it'd be better. No, we can't hear them. Do you see him? Ooh, we definitely see him. There's one, two, three. All right, so we know Bridget can still count. And we have Evan now joining four, us. Four goats. Hey, uh, <laughs> What's going on, Bridge? Welcome to the show. Thanks. Uh, she should be welcoming you to the show because you're a little late. Uh, <laughs> you know, someone's got to make the surprise entrance. Goats. Oh, nice. We're watching one, Bridget count goats. Two. I don't know where the third one went. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so you, I, got, you got four goats. That's pretty cool. So I tried to explain three, the game three. to Bridget. Three. Three. No. Three. Yeah, I tried to explain the game to Bridget. I don't know if it got through. I think Bridget's just trying to be nice. She's just be like, okay, Brent. Yep, let's just keep going. Wait, Brent the explained all the rules was... and then Bridget didn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I heard was this set doesn't have to anything to do with anything, but the colors are nice. It... And... <laughs> <laughs> It looks good, Bridget, so that's why we're doing it, okay? Yeah, but I didn't I just didn't know I had to respond. So that Oh, gotcha. Good. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. All right, well let's let's go to the next one so we can look. So Bridget, here's here's what's called a recap. Like how have the teams fared or who's who's held the trophy the last 2 weeks? So okay. yellow, I believe that was Evan, right? Yeah, that was me. So he had Sacramento, so he had it for 2 days. Then it went to Minnesota, which is Kurt, I think. I think. I think he had it for three days. I have Philadelphia, and I've had it right now. So, right now, this is showing just, hey, Brent's the team with the trophy. Philly's the team to beat. Wait, yeah, but so... is this college basketball? No. No, NBA. Oh, NBA. 
NBA, yes. Yeah, the the league that nobody really cares about right now since apparently you... Yeah, there's you, just, I, I was just thinking because of March Madness. I was going to say, yeah, because yeah. apparently, Evan, Bridget picked Princeton, apparently. Nice. Wow. My That's awesome. Good. That's sweet. I, nice uh, line. I put Duke to win it all, so I'm out. <laughs> <Me> You're, <too. laughs> You're in the same boat as me, then. I, I lost yeah. two Final Four teams. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's not looking good for a lot of people. There's a lot of upsets this year. Mm -hmm. But, Bridget, just so you know, like, the the streak doesn't matter anymore. This the also streak, means nothing. The streak doesn't matter. It's who ends up with the trophy at this point? Because I've already won, you know, who has the most wins. Mathematically. So. Yeah. Yes, mathematically. Evan, Evan is green. No, that's I'm Brent. Green. Oh. So Brent has the trophy, but it depends on who ends up with the trophy. That's the last part of this. Oh, who the last winner is. Well, yeah, because there exactly. were two there were two parts to this the season bet. Ends. Two parts mm -hmm. to this bet. Who could hold the trophy for the most amount of time uh, can, uh, all together? And then who ends with the trophy on the final day? So as of right now, I have the trophy. So let's go to the next page. Okay. Okay. So here is, here. here is their next team, which happens to be tonight. We have the Philadelphia 76ers against the Indiana Pacers. And as you can see, uh, Bridget, because you're so interested in this, right now, Philadelphia is the heavy favorite right now compared to Indy. Uh, Indy. I have the, uh, the um, injury report right now. James Harden's missing. P.J. Tucker's out. Those are two important guys to their team. But also the Pacers are missing Halliburton, Duart, and Mathurin? 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 Benedict. He was on your fantasy team for a while. You can't even pronounce his name. <laughs> no, his name is Benedict something. I know that. <laughs> Benedict. <laughs> Benedict. I know that. So, Bridget, we want to get your hot take. Who is going to win tonight and why? So, looks like... Bridget's actually like analyzing this, and most of us we're just drinking beer. And we're like, ah, Philly sounds good. <laughs> it looks I like do, I do want to point something looks out like before. The Phillies are gonna win. The, oh, not the Phillies, the 76ers. 76ers, 70. Okay, yeah. yep. All right, so Bridget has 76ers. They were, they were a um an answer on Jeopardy the other night. Oh, what? Fun fact. I like it. What was the question? They, um, shoot, what was the question? You mean what no. was the answer? What was the answer? Ooh, yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, there you that's go. Jeopardy works. Answer. That's right. You, you can tell who the, the question. we can tell the smart people are in this family. I don't even know how Jeopardy works. I'll look it up. But I think the 76ers are going to win. Okay. Uh, Evan, what are you thinking? Well, first thing I want to point out is that when Brent holds a trophy, he actually puts up the correct <laughs> logos for the trophy holder and everything. He doesn't use, you know, his people when the other people have the trophy. Just want to point that out. Yeah, about six times in a row, Bridget, I kept forgetting to change the logo. So uh, now that I have the trophy, it matters. Um, but the Sixers, because uh, they just have um, the better potential, I think with even Harden out, um, you know, MB can take over a bigger role. He's, he's the main scorer. He doesn't have to share the ball as much. So it doesn't really hurt him as well. So I think the Sixers are going to yeah take this one. They have a winner. Winning streak, you know, or not winning streak, but winning record. Oh, and, and we're we're gonna get to it eventually. And, and PJ Tucker and James Harden are out, so this means Tobias Harris is gonna have to pick up some of the slack. So uh, Brian, what do you think? Yeah. What do you think? I'm going Pacers. Are you now? I hope Maxi. I hope Tyrese Maxi has a good game. I voted Pacers on the Insta. Uh, I just think Philly's bound to lose. They've been winning what? A lot. Six in a row. Yeah, well, quite a bit. So. A lot. Um, it's going to run short eventually. Okay, all right, their, their luck's going to run out. Kurt, are you there, and do you want to give us your input? Oh, Sixers win. All right, Sixers win. Short and sweet. All right. Prove so, y'all wrong tonight. Okay. So t speaking of what Brian was just talking about, Bridget, guess what? Our Instagram is pretty famous right now. So much so, the Sacramento Kings know about us. The real basketball team, Sacramento Kings. They yeah. followed you? Uh, they did something. I don't know what it was because I don't they have the Instagram. They participated in a poll. They participated yeah. in your poll? The, the, yeah, yeah. the We Missed the Exit poll. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's really loud out here. I'm going to move inside. Oh, that's all right. Typical, <laughs> typical Geary. Just get up and move right when we're about to start or, well, or do something. Well, no, <laughs> there's like there's like frogs croaking. And oh, they're, nope. really, they're just really loud. We should, we, uh, Go ahead. We could use the ambiance. We need that. <laughs> no, but I just can't hear what you're saying. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Brown's croaking equals more views. That's right. That's right. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a statistic, and that's pretty much science. So, 
Here we have the schedule for the rest of the 76ers, or at least for the next two weeks or so. As we can see, we have Philly. Brian, you have back-to-back -back Chicago, so because uh, you're Chicago, right? Yeah, I just need, like, obviously I'm not going to get um, the most amount of trophy wins, but it's still not out if I can uh, snatch it here at the bitter end. Yeah, so Bridget, this is their schedule for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the month, and this is just to say, where do you think the trophy will end up losing? Evan obviously, or no, Brian obviously thinks Indiana's going to take it tonight, even though he owns Chicago, so he should want the Pacers to lose tonight, so that when the Seventy uh, Sixers play Chicago, he get his team gets it. It's not what I want. It's what I think. Mm, okay, all right. What I want is for Golden State to win it because Golden State is going to be running really hard to move into the playoffs so i hope that they end up taking it from philly in, uh next week evan what do you think when are they gonna lose it um i'm thinking game two against chicago on the 22nd there um i think it's tough to play game uh teams back to back uh you know it's, i feel like they'll take the first one but i feel like chicago will take the second one yeah especially if they keep going with those injuries kurt what about you you got a hot take on the uh, 76ers losing you have your dallas and I think Toronto? I think Kurt has Toronto too. If not, Bridget, what do you think? What do you think? When when is Philly gonna lose his next game? When is when are the when are the seventy sixers gonna lose their next game? Yeah, yeah, so here's a schedule. They have they play three games, the twelfth, fifteenth, seventeenth, but when are they gonna lose their next game? What team? Um the Cavaliers. Okay, the Cavaliers. So Bridget is predicting that they are going to beat or they're going to lose to the Cavaliers who are not even on this schedule. Bridget, I <laughs> Bridget, love the prediction. Say, that was on Wednesday. <laughs> I love <laughs> the prediction. <laughs> you told me you're going to the 12th, the 15th, or the 17th, so I chose the 15th. I said, I said they played the games on the 12th, 15th, and 17th already because today is the 18th. So, so <laughs> this I, is a calendar. Happen 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 happen. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, either Bridges like total Nostradamus and is predicting next month, or, or we had a missing <laughs> time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. I was like, oh, she knows the schedule better than any of us. So like, yeah. Jeez. Bridget, Bridget, when with the deep Cleveland Cleveland next? Bridget with a deep understanding of NBA basketball <laughs> scheduling. <laughs> She's like, oh, um, the Bulls. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So they're gonna lose. Twenty second. Let's go, Bridge. Twenty twenty second. Twenty. Let's go. All right. Just That's like right. If that happens, Bridget. So if Chicago wins it, your brother has the trophy. And then if the Chicago wins out, your brother wins half the money. And your brother oh. has already yeah. earned. Your brother has already earned money from me because I don't know how to do fantasy <laughs> basketball. <laughs> gotcha. How? Um, I'm just hustling, Brent. Yeah. How many more weeks in the season? Uh, so uh, that was another thing I wanted to say. I'm like, I'm like, we April uh, sixth. Yes, usually it's the beginning okay. or middle of April is when the regular season ends. So we have only like another so we month like to go. Like three weeks or so, four weeks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like three, four three weeks. weeks. Yep. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be a fun finish. This is yeah. This can be interesting. Yeah. Especially with the Sixers having it going into the late part of the season. I All see. right. So Bridget. Dallas is gonna get the trophy. <laughs> 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 Dallas. Kurt's what? calling Dallas. All right, Bridget. Where's Dallas on here? Uh, oh, towards the end. 29. 29. 29. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, Bridget, here's pretty much where your brother's been earning all the money and doing all the <laughs> talking. Pretty much. So, we're in a fantasy <laughs> basketball league together, and your brother cannot stop tying us or beating us. Something like that. So, so anyway, as you can see, this is a very close matchup. Like, I was like, oh, what? what I wonder how this week's going to go. You, you, you got off to a, ha a hot start, Brian. To start the week, and then we're we are slowly yeah. creeping up, and these categories have been swapping back and forth like all week. Like this is not what it looked like just like yesterday or two days ago. I think we could take this. Ooh, you guys can do a side bet here or, or what? You've already used half your acquisitions. <laughs> we have yes. How much? How but many? I, how much longer do we have in we, the week? We still have, another week. There's one more week. Okay. And this um, is what it looks like right now. Yes, this is what it looks like right now. I know. I see. I knew what Brian was doing. He's trying to to trying to stockpile all of his acquisitions. In the last like two days, he's just going to unload all of his players. What do we need? Because yeah. <laughs> Brian does not want to win the championship, Bridget. He wants to beat us. Is what it is. So Brian doesn't care about that. He wants to beat us. You know, it's like a little uh, little championship. You know. 
it is. That's I, what it is. I think it's the I bigger think. championship. I'm mm-hmm. I'm still um, looking up what the Jeopardy question was. I was wondering right. what you're what. Fact check. Okay. All right. Fact. You're fact checking. All right, Bridget. Real oh, quick. I just I just wanna I just wanted to tell you what it was because it's kind of like some trivia. I, I, I like speaking it. of which, yeah. that's going to be our next speaking slide. Speaking of trivia. Speaking of trivia, we do this. <laughs> All right. So so we do Bridget. We do uh, who is this player? Where we show the stats and we have to guess who the player is. Steve Nash. No. No, he would have been Dallas Phoenix. Da- uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Carmelo Anthony. Oh, he's also not. Not a terrible guy. guess because Carmelo Anthony came into the league a few years after that. Let's see. So 90s. I want to I mean, say none of the forward. teams that he played on though. Small forward. Played a lot on Phoenix. Good oh, score. is this some? Oh, ooh. Um, Mario Stoudemire. No, because no. he would have been Knicks uh, for a while. There's no Knicks. Oh, yeah. okay. So Phoenix uh, in 99, 2000. Not, not Mario Stoudemire. No, 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 no. Um, You're gonna get it. You're close. Sean Marion. No, I think, yes, yeah, oh. Marion. Yeah. Yeah. I was saying, I think Kurt even got that too. Kurt's a Sean yeah, Marion yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking of, yeah. I like yeah. Sean Marion. Yeah. Because he has Sean a weird Marion. jump shot, right? He, he has we, like a really the, weird, yeah. awkward jump shot. Bridget, show us your jump shot. Show us your jump shot. That was actually probably nice. better than Sean Marion's. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. But okay. yeah, that looks like Sean Marion. Yeah, it does. Ah, I'm, I'm upset you got that before me because I felt it. <laughs> I feel like my answer in some way helped you guys. For sure. Yes, you it feel definitely. That way? Did. Mm-hmm. I yeah. feel it. You got that aura going. Who All is right. This player? Who is this? Portland. I felt this one was a little easier, but that's because I gave a really hard Portland. last week. Portland. He still plays today. San Antonio. I think he, do, he doesn't still center. play. He finished last oh, year. Oh, he ever, he's finished last year. Yeah. He probably still could have played, but um, like sparingly. Because look, he put 13 points, six boards last year. He still could have played. Or center Portland for a long time. Who's Robin Portland Lopez. Center? No, uh, no, was, I was kind of thinking that, but no. Robin, Robin Lopez was on the Knicks, wasn't he? He was on the so Knicks for like the, two years. And he's on the box. Yeah. 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 And yeah, I mean, I think those guys came into the league around 08. So yeah, that would have been around that time where they started the Lopez brothers. Because I wanted the Knicks to get Brooke instead of Gallinari. Gianna? Uh, that's a, that, that is a guess. That is a guess. <laughs> is it? This is a, no, this it's is not Giannis, no, I was though. Say, no. This is a guy, uh, Bridget, um, I, I would bet money. <laughs> you do not know who this guy is. <laughs> That oh, is man. a guess. It is technically a guess. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's a good one. <laughs> at least, at least, um, I give you credit. You you called this the Marcus Aldridge. Aldridge? It is the Marcus Aldridge. Oh LMA. yeah, yeah let's great. Go. Marcus great job. Aldridge. Nice. Yep. All right. So one of my hardest things is SAS to me. For some reason, I see S and I think of Sacramento, and I was like, who played on those two teams? I did. Oh. San Antonio didn't come to my mind, but yeah, SAC Marcus versus San Antonio. San Antonio. What's that? I know. I'm. I'm just an idiot. That's all it is. I'm an idiot. Um, but I yes. haven't got one in a while. That feels good. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that was that was good. Yeah, I think well, we're about equal on those times with yours and mine's. Brian. All right, Bridget, you got something for us? Y- yeah, I got the. I have the Jeopardy question. All right. Well, well I mean, we know the answer. Well, what's the answer? Is... Well, we know the answer, but um, this NBA team has featured a snake and a bell on one of its logos, and before home games, a bell is ceremonially wrong to root them on i would not have gotten that i would, I would not have been the liberty bell. Boom, i was gonna boom. say it has to be a liberty oh, bell where oh well, yeah miss bell is in philly no nope. like another yeah. city in in my head in my head i was thinking milwaukee bucks because bridget said Giannis earlier and i'm like why did the bucks have a snake and a bell i couldn't <laughs> <laughs> it's like duh we're talking about 70, philly 76ers 76ers i knew i knew they were on jeopardy yeah that makes more sense march 14th Pie day. Pie day. Three point one four. Marcus Aldridge. What a what a great what a great pick. He was a great player. Yeah, and you know I was. Oh, so he was bummed. an amazing player. Like he uh he, he played his. He, played he his still could so play. Well. Yeah, yeah. I just like I I, I wish Brandon knee, Brandon Roy's knees didn't get messed up the way they did because imagine him, Lamarcus Aldridge, Durant, and Lillard all on the same team. I know it probably wouldn't have panned out like that because of picks and all that stuff, but could you imagine that team? Why nice Durant? Thing. Um, because they could have picked him instead of Greg Oden that one year. 
Oh yeah, because uh, yeah, because Odin right. was number one and Durant was number two. Like I, I, I was thinking Odin for this for a second, but I was like, it's too oh, it's too early, and and too many games played. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. true. <laughs> All, All right, right, you ready? So, Bridget, this is the big trivia thing. Okay, I'm ready. All right, so Sports Illustrated just published their top 125 NBA players for the current season. Name the six Knicks on the list. I want to see if Bridget can get one. Uh, can you name any current Knicks players, Bridget? <laughs> Carmelo Anthony is not on the team anymore. <laughs> that was going to be my response. I saw you going. Um, no, I, I don't think I can. No? Okay. I, I not one? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bridget, no, I, I think I'm with you. Like, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> I, I think you can name I, one player. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, yeah but I, I honestly don't think I could. What? Name, name like Rose. anybody on the Knicks. No, he's Derek not the Rose isn't 125? He's not in the top 125. No, no, he's on the Knicks. But, um, oh, I can name a Nick. I, I'm talking about the I six mean. that are on the list. All right. Well, you got you Julius. Can, you can name. Okay, go ahead, Brent. You got Julius Randle. Mitch one, Robinson. I can see that. Okay. Jalen Brunson. RJ Barrett. Um. And wait, wait. When did they publish this? Was this before or after this? Afterwards. Three days ago. Three days ago. So this is like like just three days ago. These are our top one twenty five. Yeah. Um. I got those four. They wouldn't put Fournier. They wouldn't put Grimes, would they? Grimes is on the list. Grimes did make the list. All right, Grimes. All right. They wouldn't put Hartenstein. Oh, quickly. You got all six? Yeah, quickly. Yeah, oh, okay. That, that, that was right. pretty good, Brent. All that right. Was really That's good. good. All right. Nice I got job, that Brent. one. Thank you. Thank I you. had to give you a layup. No pun yeah. intended, but like the last few have been a little shaky. So, yes. So, name 10 point guards. Oh, Jason <laughs> Kidd. <laughs> and I picked like Ayo Bucci. Like, I don't even time. know if you got him. <laughs> Brian always gives me like great trivia questions and I'm like, all right, well, I can't think of like more than two. And so Brian's like, your brother's like the nicest person with trivia. He like gives me all these hints, like pretty much says his name is Ben and ends with Udre. Who's the guy? And I'm like, and your brother's like, you got it. I'm like, all right, there's a teacher right there. It rhymes with Maiden Schmelfin. <laughs> That's Raymond Felton, by the way. Yep, I'm, yeah, hey, I don't. One. I don't know if I don't know if that would fit in a Dr. Seuss book, I but it was close enough. <laughs> well, that's it. That's uh, that's, that's our last slide here. That's that's our show, Bridget. What did you think? Was it was it terrible? Was it painful to sit through it? What did you think? No, I thought it was great. Did, I think it's nice that you guys have different like activities, segments. You know? Yeah. Okay. Think, yeah. All right. No. And yeah. Let, let us know quick, what was good. Like, like, I feel like it's quick, you know, because um, a lot of, you know, I don't watch a ton of sports broadcasts, but I feel like they talk, like, a lot, you know, for, like, 20 minutes on one thing. But it's like, all right, you Wait. know, really quick. Yeah, they drag it out a little bit. And then I'll, so afterwards, like, I'll go and I'll edit some of this or whatever. And I'll, I, tr I try to do funny things, but it just turned out to look stupid. So I still think you should go and check out our <laughs> After Hours video, Bridget. At least I one. Will. It's only like seven minutes long. Yeah, we keep our video time short. Yeah, which is that's good. Yeah, we Nobody try to keep wants to watch short. Forty-five minutes of nonsense. Yeah. Only like eleven to fifteen minutes of nonsense. Yeah, yeah, we, we, yeah, we, 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 have, we have a limited amount of nonsense we can deal with right now. All right, I'm well, all nonsense. yeah, I think you guys did a great job. So is the the recap or the whatever part you just said is that on YouTube? Yes, that 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 is on YouTube. That's that's on the same We Miss the Exit channel and all that stuff. And I'll I'll link it in the description below. Or something like nice. that. What, whatever everybody does. I don't know. Whatever everybody does. Uh, hey, it sounded professional to me. I liked it. Yeah. Right. See, this is this is really just a, us a thing that we do, Bridget, with us just to bullshit each other. I think more than anything. So. Well, I want to be invited more often. I will put you in the Friday group. Friday at seven. Yeah, usually but it's Friday, Friday Saturday. Yeah, usually we're it's off. Friday at seven. Yeah, but... We're a little off. Yesterday was St. Patty's Day. Like you guys are Irish, we gotta, you know, it's a pass. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. it's your holiday, so we gotta let you guys go. So it's it's the closest the Irish get to Christmas, right? <laughs> wasn't that was that <laughs> Happy Madigan? Because Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a much <laughs> quote. All right. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway. Uh, that works for me. 
Because that's my four o'clock. <laughs> oh, that's gotcha. right. So it's like right after work for you. So you're good. Yeah. That'd mm. be great. Still light out. No better way to kick off a weekend than uh, we miss the exit that's, podcast. That's right. How everybody should do it. I'll have to start watching more NBA basketball to be able to Bridget, contribute to these conversations. Name Absolutely. players by looking at their stats. Yep. <laughs> Bridget, Bridget, if you watch five or ten minutes of an NBA game, you'll watch more than the most of us have. Like Brian and I are the only one that watch, and it's like the Knicks, and that's it. So, so you just you just watch the scores, or like you just update yourself on who's who's in. Pretty. So pretty they much, might, I don't. Yeah, so so pretty much, but what I found myself doing, Brent I was all legwork. Yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> I found my. <laughs> I have nothing better to do, Bridget. Remember, I'm, I'm the only one not married, no kids or anything like that. So it's okay if no, I waste not. my time I'm like over this. Here, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm over sorry. here, too. Bridget Bridget is also, also me. Yeah, I'm so that's right. <laughs> 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 Yeah. I love Kurt's um, icon. The jackalope. <laughs> the jackalope. Yeah, it's not a hare or a rabbit, actually. <laughs> yeah, right? All right. Well, anyway, that that's the end of the We Miss the Exit show. Bridget, we want to thank you for coming. It was a much more fun and better show with you being on here. This oh, is awesome. well, thanks. Yeah, you're always welcome yeah. anytime back, and I'll, love- I'll put you on the invite list. I love hearing your all your laughs, especially Evan. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just hearing because it's accompanied by a mustache. Yeah, you know. Bridget, watch uh, the video. video. <laughs> I like the mustache, Ev. Thank you. Yeah, uh, how, I've been working hard. How much you charge for rides, Evan? <laughs> what, what is that? <laughs> 20, 20 bucks? 20 20, bucks. Oh, <laughs> last week it was 10 bucks, now it's 20 bucks. Yeah, man. He's been getting customers. <laughs> <laughs> supply, supply, demand. supply, demand. Economics, you know.